What's going on guys? JSGC Football here and we are here for another video. Today I'm going to go and do my first experience at a Scottish football match. We're going to go and head up to the Scottish Premiership and watch the game between Dundee United and Ross County at Tannadice. Looking forward to it. Now you might be wondering to yourself, JSGC, that's a very strange place to be heading off to. Well, we're going for a very special occasion. You may have seen in my Accrington Stanley vlog that I did earlier in the season and also some Manchester City vlogs that I've done over on my main channel as well that I've featured Craig in my channel likes to go by the name JSSP. Well, he's a Dundee United fan and we came up with an idea because he's got his stag do in a few weeks time. I'm going to be missing out as I'm heading out on my honeymoon at the same time as his stag do. We thought we'll go and do something rather special together and we're going to go and head up to watch his team. He's watched my team, Manchester City, plenty of times this season. I'm going to return the favour. We're going to go and do the four and a half hour trek north up to Scotland to Dundee to go and watch Dundee United take on Ross county as part of a little stag do that we're doing together so he's excited i'm excited can't wait to see what this video brings and the experiences that we get from this game as well now in terms of some permutations on this game we've had the split now in the scottish premiership there's just four games remaining of the season dundee united find themselves in a relegation battle they're in 10th place they're just one point clear of bottom which is ross county and so anything can go very similar goal difference just one point separating these two teams dundee united will want to make home advantage count dundee united fair credit to them getting a double thumbs up from me making this game 10 pounds for an adult to be able to attend this game. They recognise the importance. They want to get the fans behind them. Ross County will know the importance of this game as well. This is a very big game at the bottom of the Scottish Premiership. And uh, Dundee United will know with a win from this game. We'll put them in a strong position to potentially stay in the division. Ross County will be thinking to themselves, this is a, a must-not-lose game. If they can pick up a win here, could just be the catalyst that they need for the final three remaining games for them to try and fight for safety. So we've got a real relegation scrap on our hands here. And Kilmarnock, they're sandwiched right between Dundee United and Ross County. They've got a big game coming up at home at 3pm as well. They're taking on Livingston uh, at home. So what we're dealing with here is some very winnable games for all the teams at the bottom. And things are going to be finely poised. So I'm hoping for Dundee United, who their end are going to be sat in today, and for my friend Craig's uh, sake as well, that they pick up a very important three points. Now, they've been in some good form, won the last three games before losing their last game away against St. Johnston by one goal to nil. And Ross County, they'd lost the last couple of games up until last weekend, took on Livingston and beat them by two goals to nil. And all of a sudden now, it's getting very tight there at the bottom as teams bidding to try and avoid the drop finishing bottom and being relegated or potentially being in the relegation promotion playoff with a Scottish Championship team and I think that's what Dundee United are going to try and avoid here for this game now last season it was the polar opposite for Dundee United they had a brilliant season they finished fourth they secured Europa Conference League position and they faced AZ Alkmaar right at the beginning of the season back on the 4th of August they picked up a Famous, famous victory for them at Tannadice, beating AZ Alkmaar by one goal to nil and took a lead back to the Netherlands to face a prestigious team in AZ Alkmaar. I don't think Dundee United fans are going to want me to talk about the return leg and they lost 7-0, we don't want, to, don't want to talk about that. Uh, but still, it's European football Fourth place last season, beating AZ Alkmaar at home at the beginning of the season to find themselves in a relegation scrap within the last 12 months and uh, it's been a little bit of a blow there for Dundee United but it'll be something for them to fight and keep hold of their position in the Scottish Premiership going into next season where hopefully things can look up and they can work their way back up the Scottish Premiership league table now this is going to be my first ever visit to Tannadice Park so I'm looking forward to it it's a ground that holds just under 15,000 should be a really good atmosphere 
Ticket sales have been fantastic. I'm unsure about how many Ross County are going to be bringing here uh, to this game, but it should be a really good atmosphere. There's not many seats available and a really good price as well should generate a really good atmosphere. So I'm really looking forward to my experience. And as always with all my vlogs, if you've gone and checked them out, then do feel free. All the videos are available uh, on my channel. Very recently we watched Notts County seal a place at Wembley last week. We've had the pleasure of visiting some class away days this season, including Burnley. Middlesbrough, Millwall, so go and check them out, they're all available uh, on our channel, but uh, we always rate our experience uh, with our matches that we visit, so we're going to be doing the same here with Tannadice Park, we're going to be rating atmosphere, value for money, which I'll tell you right now, £10 a ticket is going to be scoring very high on that, and also food and drink, and just what overall an experience would be like if you are uh, thinking of visiting Tannadice Park. Uh, one thing that does make Tannadice very unique and very special in terms of football in the United Kingdom, in Britain and in Scotland as well, is that Tannadice Park is separated from Dundee United and their rivals Dundee by just 0 0.2 miles. They are the two closest grounds to each other in the United Kingdom. So looking forward to seeing both stadiums and uh, of course our experience at Tannadice Park as well. Now I filmed this the day before we head out up to Scotland because we're going to be heading out very early so we can get up to Scotland. It's a four and a half hour drive. Once we get up there, want to see everything that there is to do in Dundee for Dundee United and hopefully Fingers crossed, three points for Dundee United uh, and also we'll have a fantastic stag do experience with me and my friend Craig. So I'll see you in the morning and what we get up to. 6.01am. Let's go. I have taken the risk and worn shorts. 17 degrees today up in Dundee which I don't know what the weather's normally like up uh, in Scotland but um, that to me, short weather. Though I have packed some pants just in case it isn't as warm as what it says. Because right now, first thing in the morning, it's like 5 degrees, 6 degrees. It's bloody freezing. Anyway, we're going to go and pick Craig up and do a little stag do between me and him up at Dundee United. Excited for it, looking forward to it. So let's go. It is coincidentally going to be my last football game of the season as well. So hopefully be in for a good game. And we'll be back with plenty more match vlogs. For next season for you guys to look forward to. Man United! Somebody's very excited. Lads, buzzing for this. 272 miles. All the way up there. Let's go! The bolt today. Made it to Dundee now, found a nice car park, free to park, thumbs up from me, costing me nothing. We're going to go and check out some of the pubs that they've got around here for Dundee United when visiting. The first place to stop is going to be the Balmore. Yes, what, what are you on? I'm on a McEwen's 80 and it looks absolutely delightful. We've got two half pints, £3.60 is not bad at all, is it? Dundee, best place to be, so we'll give it a try. Why is it scoring on the beer scale today? 
It's an 8.7. It's delightful. And you can only really get it here, so got to make the most of it. Love that. Nice little pub. Only just opened. And it's a bit quiet. Imagine it'll get busy throughout the day. When uh, JSTC says it's quiet, that is because it's 20 past 11 on a Saturday morning. So we have started a bit early. Um, he's on a strong boat, so he doesn't want to record himself drinking the most bland thing you could possibly have at 20 past 11 in, in, in a car. In a car. Strong but a car at Carling. I can't even talk. <laughs> Carling glass. I was just saying off camera, Strongbow original. Never going to score any higher than a 7.5. If it's a bad pint, we'll be looking at a 6.5. But this. Top of the barrel stuff, crisp, cool. 7.5 out of 10. We're off to the Troll Inn. It's Stop number two for us, which is right near Tanadice Park, which I turn my camera around. I'm looking at the stadium right now. There is our first views. Just there, uh, Dundee United Football Club. Interrupted by a bus. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> he finds it humorous. Go on then, what are you telling us? Oh, I can see, yeah. You see the statue? I can, yeah, just in the far distance. Of Jim McLean, who is one of our uh, they did win the league, however, 78-ish, uh, I think. Um, so yeah, very, very well, well remembered here. Um, sadly, died uh, recently. So uh, yeah, we have a statue now of, of Jim McLean. Uh, so there's some History. GSSP fun facts for the day. Love that. Let's go to the Troll Inn, and this is a very small place. So hopefully we'll be able to get him. That's why we've got here nice and early to make sure that we can. Because Craig does inform me, gets very busy, and the chance of you getting in, not gonna happen. So hopefully we can. And here you can see Tanadice, and you can just about see Dens Park, home of Dundee Football Club. And that's how close they are. I'll get a better angle of this later in the video though. What has he done? <laughs> We love entertainment here on the channel. <laughs> that fucking stinks as well. Twelve seconds later. It is very small in here, I can confirm. Now, no cider on draft. They do have the bottles, I could have had that, but I think it might take me over my limit for driving. So I'm on the Coke, Craig's on a pint of tenants. So we're going to get his beer review right now. First time in the trolling, pint of tenants. I, I must admit, I actually like it here. It's nice and small. I imagine give it an hour, it'll be absolutely packed. Mm. Uh, pint of tenants, because I didn't realise they had um, Q&Ns on draft. But uh, I'm on a drink review. So. It's as bad as it's ever been. It's a five. Five, five out of ten. It's ten, isn't it? It's just like piss water. <laughs> Pint of tenant to the pint of uh, coke it ended up costing four pound forty, so some good prices here in Dundee. Old firm day session in the troll in complete. We're going to go and have an exploration now of uh, the two grounds that we've got here at Dundee, starting with Tanadice, and we're going to work our way across to our Dundee play as well. Oh yeah, I saw that with a I saw a little vinny with that one in one of these pictures. Got a sail on the shirts for the season. Lovely ground. So I think the away fans are just going to be based further down there. I think home fans have just been given a little section towards here and the other three stands. If we just come down here, I'll take you to Dundee's ground. And there is the shed. Do you know what? As a neutral, I think it's a very nice, smart stadium. It's what we like to call on the JSGC channel, a proper football stadium. So we have the entrance to the shed. Here's Tanadice just here. And we pan across the Kilmac Stadium for Dundee. And that's not 0.2 miles, that's 
I'm not even sure that's 100 metres. I reckon Usain Bolt's running that in less than nine seconds, if I'm honest. It's definitely, it's not far at all. Um, that is mental. It's, uh, it's a shame that we've got to deal with this absolute mess of a stadium, but here we are. Dundee banter. And I'm only here once, so I may as well go and have a look at Dens Park and see what the stadium's like and compare it. But uh, Tannadice, I like it. Craig not going to like what I'm going to say here, but Dens Park's just another proper football stadium. And I like it as well. I like because I get to visit lots of different places. I see lots of traditional grounds. I get to see a lot of modern stadium. You just don't see grounds being built like this anymore. Built for purpose. It's good to see. And there is the Dundee Football Club. And the sun in Dundee has started to come out. Nice and warm today. Should be a good one. Dundee United taking on Ross County. I think now is a good time for us to get our score predictions in and what we think is going to happen in the game. And I'm sensing a 2-1 victory today for Dundee United. I think Dundee United will take the lead. I can see it being not a classic. Ross County sneaking an equaliser early second half and I reckon we're going to see some good scenes at the end as I'm going 90th minute winner. Because why not? <laughs> Craig, what, what are you thinking? <laughs> I think you're optimistic. My score prediction for today, a bit, bit, bit less uh, exciting than, than uh, GSTC's, but I'm going to go 3-0 United today. Uh, Fletcher will score. Um, I fancy a Hearts goal, you know. Um, and then if Middleton plays, um, even even if he comes on as a sub, I fancy him to, to sneak a goal. So I'm going to go 3-0. Um, intrigued to see who plays at the back with Mogaru's uh, suspension. Um, but yeah, I think players to look out for, for those of you that don't, don't really know, obviously, when you've got the quality of Stephen Fletcher up front, then we've got every chance. Uh, we've got a young lad, Bo Kaina, uh, on loan from Huddersfield in January. He's a good player. Um, and I think the underrated player of the season is Craig Sibbles. Um, he kind of plays in the middle of the park, does all the dirty work, and doesn't always look flashy. But um, yeah, I'm going to go 3-0 United today. Big, big game. Um, in fact, massive game, uh, relegation-wise. We can get three points a day, and then we play Livingston away, uh, Kilmarnock go home, so tough couple of games coming up, so we need need a big three points, and I'm hoping GSGC is going to bring us some good luck. I hope so. As you said, you just grab a couple of wins in a row, could just be what's needed. A couple of losses, and all of a sudden, looking in, yeah, won, uh, very big bother. Yeah, so. I mean, we won... We won three on the bounce and then had a disappointing result last week against St Johnston in Perth. So, got everything, everything, everything to play for today. Um, you know, finally find a bit of form. Good wins come in, um, and, and we seem to have picked up a bit. So, yeah, three 0 Let's go. And it seems only fitting. Tannadice Street, facing Tannadice. Craig's here. He's cleared the dog shit off his shoes. We've got somewhere where you put the dog shit. It's, it's only fitting. It's, it's meant to be. It's got to go on there. And he wants it facing Tannadice. He doesn't want it facing opposite here. Let's do it. Right now. Dundee United, Tannadice Park. The best place in the world. You have been GSGC'd. Ross County's team bus is here. Craig's going to go and give them a proper greeter. <laughs> Yeah. Here we've got a little supporters bar. Not a trip to Scotland for me without the orange good stuff. in here? Uh, I think I've been in here once before. Um, my question is why this 
also dark. That's my question. Very dark. True. Good little place, Candid here, so. Good prices. Good prices. Three pound-ish. Kind of iron brew in a half a pint. Not bad. In a stadium as well, not bad. Yeah. And it's the only place you can drink in the stadium. Oh, is it? Because there is no alcohol on the concourses, etc. So, unlike England, yeah, unlike England where you can bust still buy beers, can't get anything. So, it's the only place you can drink in the stadium. As I said, can of the orange stuff. I am brewing Scotland, can't beat it. 10 out of 10. So, I've just been in the Hegarty bar which Craig just mentioned is named after Paul Hegarty so uh, I've just seen him to come upstairs and says they've got like a little uh, little museum with things on display and this is cool this is really cool got Tannadise Park made from Lego all on display We are um, the world famous because we are um, the only team undefeated against Barcelona in European competition. There's a fun fact for you all, um, and that's why we are the greatest team in the world. Good stuff. Fully enjoyed my trip to Dundee so far. So now we're going to go and head in to Tannadice and see what it's like. And uh, we're going to go and do our food and drink review in there whilst we're at it. Team news is out. Dundee United's team's out. What's your thoughts? It's pretty much to be expected, I think. Edwards coming in. Looks like they might play three at the back and two wing backs with uh, McMahon and Aina. Uh, the, the surprise is obviously Rory McLeod um, being in the team, and which I'm not not bothered by. I think it adds a bit of young, young um, pace to there. So yeah, hopefully three three nil. Still sticking to three nil. Get a result today. Massive game. Let's go. Most County got their team out as well. I'm not a big expert, so is anyone you think you might need to look out for? Just Danda, it's a good player. Um, but other than that, let's be honest, we should, we should be winning this game at home. Uh, last time we played them at home, uh, it was a comfortable win uh, around Christmas time, so hopefully we can get the same result again and, and push on with this relegation battle. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, this will go our, our way today. I am nervous though, I can't lie. Shall we head in? We should. Come on then. We're on a paper ticket today. You can have tickets through the paper form sent out to you. Um, you might be able to use your mobile phone, but don't quote me on that as well. Hi, okay. Thank you very much. You're happy to be at home. It feels like home. <laughs> So this is where it gets a bit interesting. I'm um, intrigued to see what you feel about this in terms of how you get to like food and drink and things. The smells nice. The smells are good. And we're come. And we've got an offer. What are you thinking? I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be fine. That macaroni pie sounds good. £8.40. We've got three pies. This is a macaroni pie. Comes recommended. We've got a steak pie over here, and there's another macaroni one just tucked in under here. For £3.20, they are running a pie of the month, which is a chicken curry pie. Uh, so I'm looking forward to doing the food review here, because the pies look spot on. They also run a sco scotch pie, is it scotch pie? Scotch, scotch, pie. scotch pie as well. Craig was telling me, telling me about it in the car, and I weren't too keen, because I was a bit concerned if... Uh, I'm not going to like it, whereas this one I feel like I will. What's what's in a scotch? It's just mince. My, it's, my just, it's, it's just mince and onion, but it's it's kind of like made to be congealed into one big round circular meat thing. I love them, but I can understand why people might think they're a bit weird. Yeah. I wasn't sure. Uh, as I said, I like, it seems like one of them things that you either love or you'll hate, and if I end up hating it. <laughs> it's gone with the right option, macaroni pie, Scottish delicacy. Looking forward to this. No forks, so we're doing it the old fashioned way, like when we went to Blackburn away, you're just going to throw it in there. So let's see how this macaroni pie tastes, looking forward to this.
it seems like something that shouldn't be mixed together. Macaroni, pasta, cheese and pastry. But it combines so well and that's really nice. Nine out of ten. Oh yes. Craig's on steak pie. Definitely not his second pie. <laughs> How does it taste? That looks really nice. This is very good. Pastry is delicious. Good amount of steak in there. They've very done a good. They've done a really good job on it. Obviously, I've added some, really some job. tomato ketchup on the top, but that is a solid eight out of ten. That is phenomenal. Decent. They don't have alcohol on sale uh, inside the stadium, so if you're wanting to come here and have some drinks, pubs around the ground supporting their local community with their pubs and stuff they've got available. That's what you'll have to do if you want to go and have a drink. Uh, so we can only rate the food really, rather than the drink, it's just soft drinks. Soft drinks are soft drinks, so uh, food, got a nine from me, eight from Craig, split it down the middle, food, eight and a half out of 10 here at Tannadise Park with Dundee United.
Irish Tanadine, one all, Ross County frustrating Dundee United so far. Come forward, one attack, first minute, get that goal, and then Dundee United left frustrated. Managed to get that goal from the penalty spot, which was overturned for the handball via VAR in the 24th minute. And since then, um, Dundee United had some good possession, got some good positions. Reluctant to shoot at times, putting balls into the box. Ross County seemed like they've got an answer for everything that's been put into the box. Um, so I, I try and work around if it was me, but we'll see what the approach is second half. Craig, what's your thoughts at half time? I mean, yeah, obviously. Being given, and now you're making the subs. Ah. The 
in today at Tanadice, 10,100 just over, so a, a good effort. Since Dundee United haven't turned up. Respect to the Ross County fans that have turned up today, made some good noise. Right, so we have just uh, stopped at Gretna uh, on our way back. We did forget to do a bit of a, an outro, so uh, thoughts on the game? Uh, disappointed, obviously. Um, didn't really deserve to win that in the end. First half, bar the, the goal in the first minute, we were we were actually all right. I thought controlled the game. Uh, second half, absolutely dreadful. Bottled it completely. Um, so yeah, not not overly impressed at all. Sidlow, anything to add? Um, no, not not really. I thought it was it was such, such a disappointing second half because. Conceding after the first minute, getting back into the game, I think all the fans were just really up for up, up for the second half, and then just didn't bother to turn up, which was particularly disappointing. Uh, and I think that affected the atmosphere a little bit, actually, in the, yeah. in the stadium too, which I'll speak more about when I get round to rating the atmosphere. We've had a fab day. Always. Was it worth the uh, ten-hour round trip? I think. Why not? Why not? Why not? It's always good to go and watch the mighty Dundee United. £10 a ticket. It was good for me to get back home. I've only been able to get to a few games this year, so I'll never never, uh, never say no to it. But yeah, tough, tough result. Don't know why I'm so close. Uh, but three cup finals to go, not over yet. So hope, uh, hope everyone's enjoyed watching this and Jason will do his recap. Um, but if you don't want to listen to him and just listen to me, don't do they're the greatest team in the world. Slight blip today. And I'm just going to kill off his battery now, so you can cut this out if you want. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll rate our experience very quickly. I think £10 for a ticket, we can't go wrong with that. Pretty cheap up in Dundee as well. To me, there's nothing that I can score down on value for money other than the performance wasn't brilliant but I, I do these videos and I do these trips not for the performance I know Craig will be pretty disappointed but I, I, I joined here today not not for the, the scoreline I, I, I try and just reflect it on the day and do I recommend going to Tannadice do I recommend watching Dundee United and was it value for money and my answer to all them is yes so I'm going to score that a 10 out of 10 because the ticket price in 10 quid spot on for me in terms of the atmosphere, as I was just dipping on before, the atmosphere is a bit it, it, it pre-match. All right, going conceding after a minute is going to have a massive effect, I think, on the on the overall atmosphere. And it, it just seemed very tense. You could tell it was a very important game down at the bottom with a lot of meaning for both uh, sets of fans. Thought the Ross County fans wasn't expecting as many to turn up. Turned up in good numbers, made some good noise. I think I'm only going to score it a 4 out of 10. And my final thing to rate it on will be the food uh, and drink. In terms of going around drinking in Dundee, fantastic. You're not able to drink alcohol in Tanadai, so I would recommend uh, going out and about. Trolling was a nice, small, quirky bar. The Balmore was a decent place to go and visit, just near where we parked as well, which was free, which was brilliant. Uh, and also, uh, drinking at the supporters bar, the Hegarty Sweet, which had screens showing the old firm game. It's all around just decent prices, so drink spot on. Food, we agreed, eight and a half out of ten. Gives Dundee United for our scoring out of 30, if my math serves me correct, is 22 and a half out of 30. Worked out an average of well over seven out of 10, which is a fantastic score. The only disappointment that we've had today is the result and what's happened uh, with that but hopefully I, I, I think seven points in three games will keep Dundee United we'll get them at least that playoff game in the relegation uh, battle that's what I think there's still a long way to go they need to play much better than what they did today though uh, so I'd like to thank everybody for watching I'd like to thank Craig for coming along we've enjoyed his little mini stag do that we've done um, and yeah don't forget to like comment share subscribe I think that's it for the videos for the season so we're back again next season we've got some stuff some stuff planned as well so looking forward to that so don't forget like comment share subscribe I'm having JSGC football thank you everyone for watching I hope everyone is safe and well peace Ciao for now.